So my name is Noon and I'm from France. My uh, parents told me that when I was three, when we were going at the river, I was already see, looking at the people, uh, the tattoo of the people there. Uh, I prefer to do that than going in, into the river and bath, you know? <laughs> at that time, there was no internet to, to tell you uh, how to do. So I had everything. And maybe I have the stuff, I had the stuff to, to solder my needle, but I didn't know how to do it. So I just glued them with super glue and, uh, and like that. So I started like that. I'm from the old school time, I think. When I started tattooing, when really I started tattooing, so when I was a child, so it was more uh, like gel house style tattoo, so done with end. So basically at that time you were not feeling your tattoo, you were just doing line work. So you can uh, get something uh, done in one shot and uh, also made for life. But uh, so when I started to go in my uh, uh, tattoo work, so the, the, the work I'm doing now, for a couple of years, I was just working uh, with lines. So my tattoo was made, were made with lines and that's it. And by the time I say, okay, maybe that uh, can be interesting to bring some pattern, to bring some texture inside. And uh, maybe that was the beginning of it. So it was some try. And, uh, so now it, uh, it become what it is now. I'm doing everything freehand. Um, a lot of people, um, well, Albert uh, is not really a reference for me, uh, more, more singular art, I would say, um, but uh, by the artist uh, I really love, uh, so the, like uh, Picasso, basically all the, the abstract artists from the uh, 1910, um, are references for me, but a lot of artists now uh, are inspiring me every day. There is so much uh, going on now, especially with uh, social media. Um, um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's new work I want to 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 develop. So I have this and uh, maybe another. Um, works I'm studying now aside, so I didn't do any tattoo of that. But for this uh, black uh, is back side, um, so it's really inspired from uh, my lino cut works. Uh, so when you're doing lino cut, you you know how it works. You take off uh, a part of uh, the lino that will be the line at the end then print it, print, it will, be back, uh, it will make a black print and the line will stay white. And uh, I wanted to bring that to the tattoo and uh, this is the purpose of uh, these uh, new works. And I found it can be really interesting when you do it, uh, you, you're doing it like big black work because uh, it's bringing uh, in my mind uh, something like uh, neo-tribal. So with modern design, but uh, you can go like uh, crazy Maori stuff or I don't know, like a really black stuff. And uh, except it's not a geometric stuff, it's a uh, more uh, like uh, my work. <laughs> That's your work. Uh, this exhibition was a really old new work for me. Uh, I had a, a new uh, workplace for painting last year, a year ago, and um, um, having this place, I was thinking, uh, so before I was doing some art, but uh, this art was more relative to my tattoo work, and uh, having this big, huge place, I said, okay, what I will do? Um, uh, shall I still continue uh, 
illustrating my tattoo work uh, on a paper or canvas, or I add these ideas to, to go in uh, uh, new ways uh, for a long time, making a change, uh, express some things that I cannot really express in tattoo. So using matter, so I use wood, I use uh, roses in this exhibition, I use acrylic, I use um, really a lot of mixed media to make a huge uh, a piece of artwork. And uh, what, what huge, because uh, the theme of this uh, exhibition uh, called End Trends, so I mean uh, End Trends and uh, uh, Going in Trends, uh, is uh, like uh, an echo to the repetitive music, uh, like uh, Philip Glass did or Steve Reich or all the trance music you can get now, like Goa trance and stuff like that. So that they are making you going in a audio tip uh, trance. My purpose on this exhibition was to um, propose like a um, visual trance. So trying to, with big, huge uh, surfaces and repetitive motif, um, propose to the people seeing them to have a first have a first look at something interesting, like uh, artistically interesting as a first step. But when you go more and more deep inside the, uh, this kind of art, you try to go in. Uh, uh, you're going in a trance. You try. That's the purpose. Going in a trance. Visual trance. <laughs> that is always a love. Is always love for me. I'm telling love story in a, in every uh, in every tattoo I'm doing. And uh, for this exhibition, I did uh, something uh, uh, more uh, performing. So by the the arch opening. I asked the people that were there to draw on a post-it post size paper um, a small drawing, like basic drawing, can be a bird, can be uh, an house, can be whatever you want, a letter. And uh, using this post-it, I create the day after a composition on an arm. So I did a, a, a sleeve work using uh, this, so it was uh, really interesting to create with something you, you don't know before. And uh, it was really interesting and uh, full of love, for sure.